Hey, this is a Trendy Socialite. I hope all is well with you. Um, today's video is uh, a technique that I just learned while I was blog reading earlier this morning. And it is a way to diminish, minimize, and hopefully erase the look of dark circles under your eyes. I suffer with that. It's hereditary. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> As a result, my dad has like dark circles under his eyes and so I look like him and that's where I get it from and no matter, no amount of creams and fading gels and that sort of thing really gets rid of them completely. So uh, I was blog surfing and I saw a video by Candy Johnson um, posted on, I think it was Psyched for Style and she had a really good technique for um, concealing um, under your eyes and I wanted to share it with you all from a brown girl's perspective and how it could work for you. Um, <clears throat> the thing that I love about this uh, video is that it's a technique. It is not anything that really requires you having to go out and buy uh, another product or anything like that. You can use your existing concealer that you already have um, which if you suffer from dark circles under your eyes you already have concealer. Um, the only thing you may need to get is a slightly lighter concealer, but if you have a concealer palette, like I have one from Coastal Scents um, that I use in the video, the um, top has come off of this, uh, then you can use something like this. You can get concealers any and everywhere, um, and that'll definitely be able to do this trick for you and I wanted to show you the finished product up close and personal I I really do like this technique it's super simple um, it's, it's not rocket science or anything like that but it it worked for me in terms of concealing um, my circles under eyes and, and making it a blend in with the rest of my face so stay tuned for the tutorial, and if you have any questions, as always, leave them below. I love you all. Be blessed. Bye. I am using my Coastal Scent palette in a shade lighter than the shade that I normally use. And what you're going to do with your foundation brush is make a triangle. You're going to go straight down the side of your nose, do an angle from the base of your nose to the, um, to the outer corner, and then across underneath your eye and then you're going to take your foundation brush and blend that in underneath your eye I think I put a little bit too much on um, this is my first time doing it so um, I, I learned a little bit how to do it um, better for the next time you can take a foundation sponge or a cosmetic sponge and blend the edges of that so that it'll blend better and now I'm just doing the other eye the same way align straight down from the corner of your eye down the base of your nose a diagonal line from from the corner um, base of your nose to the outer corner of your eye and then straight across and you blend that in I've taken my makeup forever uh, concealer which I absolutely love. I'm putting a, a dot of it on the back of my hand and that is the darker shade that I'm using to um, set that lighter shade. As you can see it's already brightened um, the under eye area and made it not quite so dark and shadowy um, as it has been in the past and you just want to blend that in um, pretty good so that it doesn't look quite uh, it doesn't look cakey or it doesn't settle into any lines that you may have underneath your eye. Taking my, I'm setting it with uh, my Studio Fix foundation from MAC in NW45. You basically just want to do that with a cosmetic sponge or you can use a sponge applic or the applicator that comes with um, that and you want to kind of roll and tuck and, and pat that on so that it sets a concealer and you're not rubbing the concealer in anymore. My final step is just to blend in with the stippling brush using my MAC 
Studio Fix Foundation and NW45, and that is it.